Welcome to another hot episode in my hot garage. Today we are installing the Santoro rear crash bars for my 2021 Harley Davidson. We already went ahead and we installed the one on the left side. Pablo's helping me out. He actually did it on his bike a few months back and he made it seem very easy. And he just made it seem even easier now. So like I said, yeah, the one on the left side we already put on and now we're just gonna demonstrate how to put the one on this side. Pretty easy stuff. I thought it was gonna be a bit more difficult. Um, just note that you will have to cut this bar right here, the support uh, bar that holds up your your uh, saddle bag. So this is the part that we cut off on the other side. Um, it's basically gonna get replaced with the actual Santoro bar here. So it's not gonna make a difference by you cutting this or not. Um, Harley Davidson does sell a shorter one, which you can kind of put in there somehow. So if you go to the Santoro website, they let you know what pieces to buy in case you want to go that route. But we're just gonna do one of these. I can't do this part, man. Why? <laughs> well, you, you gotta supervise me. Over at Marvel Garage, we practice safety. Eyes, head, should wear a face mask too. Well, usually we like to put a double-sided tape here to protect the paint, but somebody doesn't have any. Well, my kid used it all up, so to my defense, I have a five-year-old and he uses everything, so that's that. We didn't do it on the side and it worked well, so. So you're gonna cut like four inches in, then you're gonna remove this piece like uh, Junior just said, and you're gonna add the Santoro bar, and that's gonna, be used now as your bag support so I mean I personally wouldn't buy the extra support piece but if that's something you do want it is available at Harley so just mock it up for them so basically this is how it's gonna go so the the bar the Harley bar right here which we're gonna cut off is gonna go it's gonna feed it in right into here so that's what's gonna support it on this side and obviously this is gonna go um, right where this one was bolted on and then the top up here where the frames at um, so just to mock it up, show you guys what it's gonna look like. It'll be just like that. Nice and clean. Let's do that again. Great job, man. <laughs> so then after that, what you're gonna wanna do is get a light grit sandpaper and um, you know just clean off the edges a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead and install the, uh, the bar. If you don't mind doing me the honor, sir, pull the wrench on this side. I have to take my hard hat off now. Why, this is still a danger zone, man. It's too hot. Right into the danger zone. This is much easier if you have a buddy, so thank you for helping me out today. This guy's uh, flying out to Spain tomorrow, has a ton of stuff to do today, and you know, he was able enough to make some time for me. That's what we do over here. Um, that's obviously trash now, so we don't need this. Go ahead and take this one off the top as well. like that that's what mocked up it's gonna look like what you're gonna do is now is put that bolt in there um, put the chachas up here and the sliders and the top bolt and we are done all right so you're gonna have to wiggle this around a little bit just to get it right in uh, position and close it off in the back just anti in it Okay, hey, need a hand? <laughs> <laughs> so you are using the stock bottom ball. That's only thing you're gonna be using from your stock parts. 
because they provide everything else. So that's tightened up. Take our little cha-cha for the top right here. That goes right on there through the top. Screw it into the frame. I suppose I'm locked that on there, right? You put a little bit. Little lag tags. Is there any left in there? Ooh. Oh, there it is. We got a squirter. We got a squirter! <laughs> Are you seeing I Love You, Man? Yeah. The movie? It's one of my favorite movies. That's a, it's a scene in that. We got a squirter! So, what you need to do is take uh, the bolts they send you and just feed it through there because at first it, it's gonna be really tight. So you wanna make sure everything fits properly. Um, why? Why are we doing this again, uh, Peanut? Uh, just something I always do, especially when stuff is powder coated. I wanna make sure all the threads are in there are fine and no paint got inside, so. I just like to pass it at least halfway through and make sure everything is good. This one's actually going a lot easier than the other one, the other side. This should be good. Yeah? Yeah. I need to get some power tools. Anybody want to sponsor a channel with some power tools? <laughs> Take it in the options out there. Always make sure the tip is wet before you put it in. A yo? What is it called again? These are called Not Yo Daddy Crash Bars? Not Yo Daddy Crash Bars, yeah. I like that name. Not Yo Daddy? Santoro Not Yo Daddy Rear Crash Bars. Now they do sell the matching ones for the front. I don't know if I'm gonna get, a get them because I kind of want to, since these are all black, I kind of want to swap out my front Crash Bar, my Holly Bar for uh, just the same one but in black. But I mean, so maybe we get the Santoro one. Like, if it fits with the spoiler, I might do that. I mean, I kept my stock one just because it was black already. Yeah. If it was chrome, I might do the Santoro as well. I just wanted to put my money in other places. Well, you're a big baller, right? I'm just a broke guy with bad financial advice. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This one's squirting already, man. It's weird, sometimes you touch it, it comes out right away. Sometimes you gotta play with it before it comes out. Hey, yo! This wasn't that bad, man. Hmm? This wasn't that bad. Yeah, there's just people overthink, like I didn't. Cutting it and worried about lining things up. And Why isn't this lining up? You've reached lands that no screw has ever reached before. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it in my stomach! <laughs> What you guys think? I think it looks really, really good. So with this product, you're gonna get a looks. I let, I'm, 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 I'm the looks type of guy, right? I like my bike to look nice. It looks cool. It's protected because I know that front crash bar does protect you a lot if your bike was to go down. Um, but now you also have protection in the bag because yes, that protects most of the stuff in the front. Um, but this will protect your bags in any incident of you going down. Um, these parts are expensive. You want to protect your bike, especially these baggers. They're pretty pricey. Um, so protection, looks, and it just looks badass, man. It just, I really like it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Um, if you are in the market for these, I'm going to be looking up their description. No, they were not given to me. I bought them with my hard earned cash. Um, so far, I like them. Um, I got to keep trying them out. I want to, well, I don't want to try them out. <laughs> but um, they're cool, man. I I highly recommend them. But you you've had yours for some time now. Yeah, but that's one of the first things I bought for my bike. Yeah, I, I love them. I love the styling of them. I think they look great. The addition of the uh, the chacho. Yeah, and oh, that you can get a different color. So I'm surprised you didn't get in purple. Well, that's the plan. The plan, you know, they have they make their engine kits. 
they yeah. make a bunch of other components on the engine or transmission, all the primary covers, bolts. You can basically dress up your whole bike in those chachos, you know, it, it gives it a nice look. I just like the shape, like I said, and most important is it's, it's more for dropping it, which I did once. And uh, it definitely protected my bike. Um, you know, I laid it over one day and it landed right here perfectly. Nothing was scratched, my uh, bags. And the good thing I want to add to that, the good thing about the slider, so if, if you drop your bike or go down or whatever, these are replaceable here on the side. So these are an easy replacement. Um, so that's, that's, a, that's even a plus. So you're not going to even worry about damaging something out. Um, it's just a swoop of swap out right there, as you guys can see, and you'll, you'll get brand new sliders. Um, they even have the, like the skateboard uh, wheels, wheels on the side, yeah. which is pretty cool as well. I thought about getting that. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Um, that's it. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you to uh, my boy Penis right here for helping me out today, because without him, I wouldn't. I've done it. Yeah, you would have. This is becoming a... I, I just don't have the special tools. This is a DIY channel now. You're doing everything by yourself. Yes. You. Yes, we did the Baja lights, we did the crash bars, and more stuff to come. Awesome. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.